ladies, gays, and gents, Kevin in here, and welcome to Skitty Fat Live TV. On this episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you all how to make my take on the classic Filipino food favorite, chicken adobo. I actually do believe that this should be our pamban sang pagkain ng Pilipinas because Filipino adobo is something that the Philippines could literally be proud of in the food industry world. The universe. Right? This universe is Philippines! There's a lot of variations to this classic Filipino food favorite. Of course, we have the uh, classic version, which is the uh, vinegar and the soy sauce combined. And then, meron din tayo tinatawag na adobo sa gata, which happens to be really amazing as well. And I happen to have a recipe for that on my Instagram page, which reminds me. If you haven't visited or followed my page yet, please feel free to do so. My username is at skinny underscore fat life. I got tons of wonderful, simple, and delightful recipes out there that might interest you. So don't miss out. Check it out. So going back to uh, the variations of adobo, of course, meron pa akong na adobo sa dilaw, merong adobo sa bote, tapos meron pa akong naririnig na adobo sa pula. Diba? Ganyan kasi tayo mga Pilipino eh. Ang moto talaga natin palagi is the more the merrier. Parang sa birthday party lang, ang isang tao lang ang inimbita mo, buong barangay dumating. Diba? My version is super close to the classic version, pero medyo iniba ko lang ng konti yung ingredients because instead of using, um, you know, the original white vinegar, gumagamit ako ng rice vinegar. I'm not sure kung nakita niya. And yung partner ko kasi, nagbigay siya sa akin ng tip na nilalagyan niya ng ketchup yung kanya. Anyways, so nilalagyan siya ng ketchup yung kanya, kaya gagamit din tayo ng banana ketchup, which is every Filipino's favorite as well. Ilang naman. Super dali lang niya, kaya watch lang kayo, and let's get this adobo going. So I have my casserole in here already preheated to uh, medium heat, actually. There we go. And then maglalagay na ako ng canola oil. Konti lang, nothing too crazy. And sisimulan ko na siya with the white onions. Are you ready to sizzle? <sighs> so with that, we're gonna be adding the garlic and the ginger together. Hindi ko maintindihan yung sila sabi ng iba na kailangan unahin yung, I don't know, yung garlic ba, or yung duya, or whatsoever. Ako honestly, pinagkasabi ko sila. Hindi ko lang ito sila. So now I'm currently adding my chicken pieces. I'm using um, chicken thighs. Um, Hinap ko siya para mas madali siyang maluto. And then all that's left to do is to mix everything together. Para kumainat yung flavor ng onion, ng ginger, saka ng garlic dun sa manok natin. So at this point, tapakpan na natin siya. And then we're just gonna leave it in there for like um, 15 minutes or so. Just until it's uh, halfway cooked. And then later on, we're gonna put the rest of the ingredients. It's that simple. Like, literally. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding the rice vinegar. Mas masarap siya, guys. Trust me. For me, in my own personal opinion, it's just way much better. And it tastes so Super duper delicious. Give it a shot and I'm telling you all, it's worth the try. And then now we're gonna be adding the soy sauce. And then, kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, uh, may nakuha akong tip sa partner ko. So basically yung version niya, nilalagyan niya ng banana ketchup. So we're gonna be adding that in here as well. Of course, mag add din tayo ng whole peppercorns. And then, Baby. And then literally we're just gonna leave it alone for about uh, 15 minutes or so just until the sauce is completely reduced and of course the uh, internal temperature of your chicken reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So this ladies gays and gents is where it's at after 15 minutes. If you love your sauce to be under this consistency then by all means pwedeng pwede na siyang kainan. Pero kasi ako gusto ko yung, um, yung glaze-ish consistency. So I'm going to leave it in here for about, I'd say, five, maybe ten more minutes until na cheap ko na yung uh, glaze-ish consistency na gusto ko. Gusto ko yung naminikit at nagmamantika. This is exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see, hindi naman siya toyong toyo, but at the same time, hindi rin naman siya ganong kasabaw. Ang gusto, gusto ko sa adobo, guys. Like, look at that. Can you see it? Yung nagkakalagas-lagas. 
that's like the best part. All right, where's my fork? Where's my fork? All right, go ahead. Winner no winner yung rice vinegar and yung banana ketchup ni hubby. Winner no winner then. Do give this recipe a go and I promise you it'll be worth your kitchen sweat. Thank you so much everyone for watching. If you love this episode, please don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Kevin Enriquez for Skin Fat Live TV. I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta! Let's get this adobo going! So first things first, Apron first. Meron ding tinatawag na adobo sa dilaw. Meron pa akong naririnig na adobo sa puti. Meron pang adobo sa pila. Pilaw. <laughs> Nilalagyan niya kasi ng ketchup yung banana niya. Kaya... <laughs> naririnig niya ba yun? Kulo yan ang takuntay. <laughs> ang moto talaga natin palagi is the more the merrier. Parang sa birthday party lang, isa lang ang inimbita mo, buong buranggay. Buranggay pa. Pagkit ka na. Ikaw, pagkit ka na. Talaga? Ako din ni. Eh. Uwi na tayo. Shonga. Nandito tayo sa bahay.